hindi yung tipong magbumukbang din kaya ako kasi uso-uso yun ngayon eh. Mm. Mukhang magandang iprank si Mudra sa birthday niya. Besh? Besh, may gagawin ka ba bukas? Collab naman tayo. Hindi ko na ng content. Who can say no challenge lang? Hindi kita papahirapan, promise. Cross my heart. Hope to die. back for another video regarding content. May nabasa kasi akong question sa aming VYP group na major related sa recent blog post ko na gusto ko sanang sagutin through this video. By the way, if you want to join our group, click here or check the link in the description box below. Anyway, ang sabi doon, ask ko lang po, pwede po ba mag-vlog kung iba-ibang hilig mo? Iba-vlog mo lahat ng hilig mo, hindi yung nakafocus ka lang sa isang hilig na gagawin. The answer, of course, is yes. You can vlog anything you want. That is your channel naman. Kung ano man ang gusto mong gawin dyan, nasa sa'yo yan. The only reason why I suggested it's best to have one or at least three topic ay para sa tinatawag na branding ng channel mo. Eto na ulit ako sa example. Siya na yata yung pinakapaborito kong example ngayon. <laughs> First example is Kong TV. Ang pinaka-focus niya ay Pinoy Street Comedy. Pag binalikan mo yung mga unang videos niya, consistent yung content niya. Either tungkol sa kalokohan niya sa bahay or mga napapansin niya sa mga ugali at gawain ng mga Pinoy. Dahil nagkaroon na yan ng mga prank. Pakausap pa ako kay Junjun. Pakausap pa ako kay Junjun. Junjun, sabi ko ako na. Hello. Hello, boy. Pinatrace na namin yan sa Toyota. Nasa ano na yan? Nasa silang na. Oo. Siyempre, nasa silang na. Paano na lang? Pinatrace ni kuya. Konting travel. What the f***? What the f***? It was at this moment he knew. He fucked. At ngayon nga, na parang daily vlogs na niya. At kahit may variations na ang material niya, consistent pa rin siya sa branding niya. Which is the funny Pinoy vlogger ng masa. Let me show you a clip which was one of the first videos in his channel. So yun po ano, I am f***ing frustrated guys. Ang tigas ng Pinoy na. Hindi ko alam kung ano ang gagawin ko. Apat na araw na ako ako nagsusulat na kung ano-ano. Wala akong maisip. <laughs> Lumuluwa na ako yung mata ko kay isip. Kulang na lang dukwangin ko sa loob. Tapikin ko yung utak ko doon, yung cerebro sa yung cerebro ko. Para may gumalaw ng konti. Pero wala, yung video ko yung sarili ko. Yun, paano ka makakaisip ng video? Kaya na nag-iisip ka, hindi nga kang pera. Ah! <laughs> Gumising ka, utak! Ano na nakakatamad talaga? Alam mo may gusto kang gawin, may gusto kang sabihin, may gusto kang buhin, pero hindi mo magawa. Hindi mo alam kung bakit. Ayan, nakita nyo? That goes to show na kahit siya, kahit nung nagsisimula pa lang siya, kung titignan natin yung laman ng channel niya, parang anything goes, di ba? Pero ang totoo pala niyan, pinag-iisipan rin niya yung content niya. Hindi siya yung basta may ma-post lang. Kay Will Dasovich naman tayo. If you will study his channel, the main focus of his content was about exploration of the Philippines as a whole. Hindi lang sa kung saan may magandang tourist spot, but more on introduction to the reality of living in the Philippines to other foreigners and even locals. He also posted a video giving tips to newbie vloggers and this is what he has to say. The overall content is the only thing that matters. Diba sinabi ko na yan nung nakaraang video, importante talaga ang content. Siguro naman kilala niyo si Mikey. His channel started with funny tutorials and parodies. Siya yung nag-parody ng Wrecking Ball ni Miley Cyrus pero about balikbayan box. Anyway, search niyo na lang or find the link in the description box also. Nakilala siya sa YouTube for that content. Hanggang sa lumago na yung network niya, he also started vlogging daily, showing his life in the Philippines, his travels, and uses his influence for a greater good. Here's a clip of him talking about how he came up with his first content. So where do you come up with your content? You both say that you love to observe people. You have to be very observant to come up with um, videos such as yours. For you, Mikey, yep. you do, you've done so many tutorials to, from eating, from yeah. CR, yes. you know, on the courting rituals. How do you come up with these yeah, topics? Well, I think the advantage I had was that I was, I grew up Canadian, so I knew yes. that culture. And then I also grew up Pinoy, so I could see the differences. Whereas maybe people from Philippines take some of the details, the minor subtle stuff for granted. But for example, I know that Pinoys use tabo to wash their bum after they go poo. And you know, that was so unique. I said, let's bring it to the screen. Yeah. 
Kay Lloyd Cadena naman tayo. Ewan ko sa inyo, pero una kong nakilala si Lloyd sa LC Learns episodes niya. He was hilarious with that content at naniniwala akong dun siya nakilala. Sa kakapanood ko ng video sa internet at saka sa TV, na-formulate ko yung show ko na LC Learns kasi parang gusto ko ibahagi yung mga natutunan ko kaya ako siya tinawag na LC Learns ibig sabihin yung mga natutunan ko in life. That was a clip from his video talking about his YouTube story. Lagay ko na lang din ulit yung links sa baba kung sakaling gusto mong panoorin. Let me show you another clip. Ako kasi, pag nagkumanawa mo ng vlog, nagsusulat din ako, Sir Dennis. Kasi yung akin, nag-outline lang ako. For example, mga din din ni Nanay, ina-outline ko yung linya and then I, I just do the talking. So, I, I, I guess uh, what what we see here is even if it's video, it has to be based on on something written, something with a structure. Yeah. Yan namang clip na yan was from one of our vlogging events kung saan invited siya as speaker. Kahit naman alam natin na spontaneous si Lloyd, sa kanya na rin naman nagmula na he thinks about his content. He writes it down as his guide while he shoot his videos. You know, I could keep going with other vloggers, pero the main point here is, lahat ng mga kilalang vloggers ngayon ay nagsimula sa isang consistent content. Hindi yung tipong, magbumukbang din kaya ako kasi uso-uso yun ngayon eh. Mmm, mukhang magandang iprank si Mudra sa birthday niya. Yes. Besh, may gagawin ka ba bukas? Collab naman tayo, need ko na ng content. Oh, can say no challenge lang. Hindi kita papahirapan, promise, cross my heart, hope to die. Kung ganyan yung mga magiging unang upload mo sa channel mo, ano yung masasabi mong focus ng content mo? Real talk tayo ha. Tama naman yung sinasabi ng iba. As long as you enjoy what you're doing, go rebels! But for those who want to monetize their channels, they need a consistent content para makilala. Kasi diba real talk lang ulit, hanggat hindi ka pa relevant sa community, sa tingin mo ba, may magiging pake yung ibang tao sa araw-araw na ginagawa mo? Wala kayong pake! O kaya sa mga pranks and challenges na gagawin mo kasama mga kaibigan mo? Wala kayong pake. Kung hindi mo naman pala habol ang kumita sa platform, you're free to post anything you want. Pero kung gusto mo pa rin naman magkaroon ng permanent subscribers at viewers, you still need to be consistent on your content and be authentic as well. Parang sa pag-artista. ba diba pag may bagong artista, concentrated lang siya sa isang category. Kung mas gamay niya ang drama, ipapasok siya sa mga dramatic roles. Then pag tumagal na, titignan nila kung kakayanin rin niya mag-comedy o kaya action, minsan horror, hanggang sa pasasayawin na yan, pakakantahin, at kung ano na pang pagagawin sa mga guestings nila. Ganun naman kasi talaga, ba diba? You must concentrate on what you're good at first before you explore other things. Base your content on what you are good at, what you like doing, or what you want to say to the world to make a statement. Kung magaling o mahilig ka sumayaw, create your own choreography videos. Kung sa music, create your covers. Kung sa painting or anything artistic, record yourself while you create your masterpiece. Kung masarap o mahilig kang magluto, bakit di ka gumawa ng cooking show sa channel mo? You have to think of a content you are most passionate about. Kasi kung hindi, kung nakaasa ka lang sa ginagawa rin ng iba, baka mapagod o tama rin ka in the future. Again, uulitin ko lang po, these suggestions are for those who aim to earn from the platform. Kasi kung di mo naman habol ang kumita, at gusto mo lang talaga ay magbahagi ng mga trip mo sa buhay then hindi mo kailangan mga problema sa number of subscribers at watch time mo. Therefore, there's also no point of asking others kung anong magandang content. Sana sa video kong to, open-minded po tayo. Wala po sanang ma-offend or take this as a personal attack to whatever you're doing. This is my personal suggestion lang naman. I just wanna share my knowledge on this topic to challenge and encourage others to be more creative and to be content creators instead of just vloggers. Kasi ang totoo niyan, hindi pa naman guaranteed nakikita ka hanggat di ka pa relevant sa community. Which means dapat may continuous organic watch time ang channel mo and you have grown your own community within the platform. But if you have a good content, decent subscriber and view counts, brands or companies can approach you for business partnerships kung saan mas posible ka ding kumita. Anyway, yun lang naman. Sana medyo naklaro ko na yung part na yan. But if you have other question regarding this stuff, topic, comment it below para makapag-discussion pa tayo lalo. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Kaya click mo na yung subscribe and bell button para wala ka nang mami sa mga susunod kong upload. Bye!